OK, so we'll start off our prolog code with some rather spoilery facts here. These are father and mother facts. And if I consult this file, then I can make queries to this database. Like this. And I can also check to see other things. So I could ask mother x, y, that would return all the mother relations that exist in the database. And to get more, remember, I need to say no or hit the space bar to continue through all the possibilities. If I press enter or say yes, then it'll stop looking for additional solutions. So let's say we want to include a, an additional set of facts for alias. And we're going to need to save our file and let's consult it. And to make things easier on us, let's use the consult rule. And I'll consult the file directly. That way I don't have to keep opening up Explorer to find the file. So now I can find out if there's any aliases. I can also find out if I have an alias. And apparently I don't. So to make my database a little more complete, let's add a rule to say parent x, y. And that's going to be true if x is the father of y. It's also going to be true if x is the mother of y. So in either case, if x is the father of y or if x is the mother of y, we're going to have this parent fact that will then be true because of this rule. So let's consult. And I didn't save my file before I consulted it. And now you'll see it gives me all the parent relationships that exist in the database. I can also write a rule child of, and that's the reverse of parent. And that would be the case where parent y x. So y is the parent of x means that x is the child of y. Now notice, going back to this rule, we didn't say father or mother. We had two separate rules. Whenever you're going to do something along the lines of this or that, just make two rules out of it. There is a way to do it in Prolog to where you can do it in one rule. However, that creates an inefficiency issue, and Prolog is inefficient enough without introducing that sort of thing. So my suggestion is just create a separate rule for every possible case you have. Almost th Think of a rule almost as a switch, where every individual rule is a case statement in your switch. OK, so let's consult just to make sure we have everything. Now. Does Anakin have an alias? And that says false. Now, perhaps you might be thinking, I'm not sure that that's correct. And it's not. The problem is, is that our alias only has facts that go in one direction. So we can write a rule that reverses the order of the variables. And now, when I consult, it, it's able to determine that for me. Now, one interesting thing, if I do all the aliases, it'll give me all the aliases over and over, because essentially it's just changing the order, and it's able to find more aliases using that rule. 
saying, oh, well, using this rule, I just have to switch what I already know, and it'll work. So we can describe facts and rules based on their functor name. So this would be father and their arity, which in this case would be tr two, because there's two parameters. The same hold tr holds true for mother and alias, as well as parent and child of. All of these are arity two.